Hmm. The colors look a little bit washed out. Should I raise the saturation? Ooh, maybe that's a little too much. should be okay what do we have first we have little penguins synth hello w maples millie birdie hyped elite hello hello K two four one X exhaled X ex exhaled Obama V T V T V T T T T arm rope hello hello Dylan Schneider one two three my hips are shaking Teori hello does my skin still look too orange. Do I look like Donald Trump? Amplify, hello. El Bibas, hello. Serve Seb Draws, hello. Gabriel Smith 2323, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. You can join the 1000 Club soon with my satisfaction 75. What's the. Oh, whew, 1000 Club. Jenny Pa, hello. You don't look orange anymore? Nice. Amplify, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Hope the work week went well. Yeah, work week went pretty well. Pretty well. Hmm, why... Why are my alerts not going off? Hmm. Maybe it just shows up in the con? No, it doesn't show up in the con, so either. Oh well. I'm in the 1K club. I I am beyond the 1K club. <laughs> uh, Alps 64, yes, it will be using an Alps 64 PCB. Yes, sir. New board Sirius, Tommy Crayons, Coda Fox, Bear Antler, Cortez, Matzer. How's Keto going? Today is day four. I'm pretty tired. <laughs> I can feel the Keto flu. Uh, it's not as bad as yesterday. I think yesterday was the worst. Today's a little bit better, but yeah, my, my hands might shake while I'm soldering today. Pretty tired. I, I was soldering the, uh, the diodes a little bit before stream. I was like, Ooh, I was shaking because I was so tired. <laughs> Ooh, Mr. Croy, finally in chat here to mod. Uh, gonna get your hands on the T1 switches. I believe KBD. F oh, shoot. I need to let Wayno know my address is updated. Crap. Yes, Way is sending me some. Yes, <laughs> I should have let him know. Chani Putt, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Ooh, you just hit the six month mark. You get a new sub badge. We have Jorbulus, Lord Yusufer, the Angry Ginger, Scott Scott Tarlow, Distill, Cool Great AJ, hello. I also need a tweet. I always forget to tweet. I got a tweet. Twitter's too new to me, guys. Uh, B 
building a field. Does Mechanisk have a Mechanisk? Don't think he has one. Okay, see him blue. Oh, oh, blue Alps. Right now. Come <clears throat> join me at HTTP. Oh, shoot. HTTPS twitch.tv Teha types. Okay, I have to tweet it. Uh, what a miss. Uh, Heine Bush, thank you so much for the seven tier one, seven months in a row thing. The one true dad, kiss, kiss, love you. FD Soul, thank you so much for the follow. Yo, Kuroi, what the heck? What? Thank you so much for the five gifts. Holy crap, you've gifted 70 subs in this channel? What the heck? Uh, my hips are shaking, Corzion, V, titty, 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 Daka knob, Daka noobs, genitals. Welcome to the sub club. Um, you guys should link your discords to your Twitch. If you guys use Discord, there is a subs only channel on my Discord if you want. So come on over and join. You know he had to do it to him. Oh, we have Insovereign today too. Didn't get the tier one L. Long time viewer. Oh my gosh, this person's name is... Am I even allowed to say that? This person's name, would that break terms of service? <laughs> um, Almond99, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Yeah, and Yodi knows what name I'm talking about. Am I planning on joining the uh, 6.5 group? I probably not. Uh, as you guys know, I'm trying to save up for a second camera. I'm trying to get a overhead shot. But that means I need to guide the camera, lens, SD card. No, I don't need an SD card. Um, capture card. I need to buy a C stand. It's a lot of money. So yeah, I don't think I'll be joining any group buys in the future. Um, I've had worse. Uh, I am Aver. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. Super happy to see the stream community continue to grow. Your stream was hopefully many more cheers. What camera am I looking at? Oh, I'm looking at the a Sony A6500. I will most likely get the yeah A6500. I was thinking about balling out for an A7 III, but I probably can't. It's probably overkill oh, just for streaming. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for the quick response on the water bottle question on your Discord, Taya Heart. Yo, Chinguder, thank you so much for the $4 donation. No problem. Yeah, I just use a typical hydro flask. I just have it sticker bombed. And oof, you guys see this? You guys see this? Look at how dank this sticker is. Wait, what? Kuroi, you're gonna start streaming? What the heck? And what is up with Insolvent? What happened to him? Why is he spazzing out? <laughs> yeah, so I don't, I don't know what the game plan is with my stickers. Should I make it super exclusive and just for customers who get a keyboard built by me? Or do I make it accessible and let people buy it? What is the game plan with stickers, guys? Not until June. Dang, what are you gonna stream, Croy? League? Or are you gonna are you gonna maybe a keyboard streamer too? Make them smack them on customer board. Yeah, so customers will definitely start getting a sticker. But I mean I don't know if it's worth it for me to ask vendors to start stocking up on my stickers. And I guess like a one-time thing, you know, how many people rebuy stickers or buy multiple stickers? If you don't let me have a sticker, I'm gonna be pissed. 
I see a Fontaine sticker. Are you into cards? Yes, I am into cards. Oh, speaking of Fontaine, yes. Thank you for asking. I have four Fontaine decks right here. They just recently shipped. Yes, I, I, I am into decks and uh, used to be into magic, but no longer have time to practice or anything. I like the vendor approach to get your name out. Yeah, so the, see, that's the thing. So if I make it accessible to people, that'll definitely help with publicity. But then that's a big investment on my part, having to buy multiple. Because stickers get significantly cheaper once you buy them bulk. Like, let's say I bought 10,000 NK stickers. I don't think 10,000 NK stickers would sell. <laughs> I don't even think 500 NK stickers would sell. That's, I feel like 500 is a lot. I don't think 500 people will buy my stickers. Yo, one in a milli, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. You're a five month sub. One more month and you get to become a Blue Alps badge. I'll show for you like always, just give me the sticker. <laughs> uh, do you typically buy two sets of keycaps to have uh, nice accents? No, I, I, I can't afford to buy two of every keycap set. <laughs> I just buy one of every keycap set. My voice is my passport. Yo, Mr. Petrov, thank you so much for the 500 bits. What the girls in the Teha Types K-pop fan club this street. <laughs> oh, okay, so that worked. My bot just wrote the message for that. Why didn't it write messages for anything else? What? Do I need to restart it? Hmm. We are building my sub badge. Yeah, we are, Remsky. Hello. Yo, Kroy, you just gifted another sub to CADUSE432. Thank you so much, Kroy. Alright, it is 8.12. Let us get to the build. But yeah, I mean, I, I, do, I definitely received a lot more interest than I thought on my Instagram post when I posted the sticker. So it's, it's definitely a big consideration right now, having vendors stock up. Maybe, maybe I'll start with a small batch. Uh, Wolfie31, thank you so much for the follow. Maybe I'll start, maybe I'll start off with like a hundred stickers and then see if that sells out. And then if that does sell out, then we can consider doing more. But the thing is, like how much are people willing to pay for a sticker? Like buying a hundred stickers is not a lot for the sticker company, I mean. And like if I buy like a thousand stickers versus a hundred stickers, the price difference would be huge. Like at a hundred stickers, I would have to charge more per sticker. I like that box, Lark Harps, hello. You can do what most companies do, make people send envelope with stamps to send it back and you put stickers in it. That's a thing? Well, I mean, if people want that, sure. As long as I don't have to pay shipping, I am fine. <laughs> yeah. Jez5, hello. Glad you could catch the stream. Okay, I have delayed on for a lot. Can you include a sticker with completed build? Yes, I will include a sticker for customer bills that I complete now. So that will be a thing. So currently the only people who have stickers on the market would be either direct friends or customers who I will ship back a sticker with for all customers, yeah. Oh, today we are going to build a fiel. Oh yeah. Yo! Jimmy sticker. <laughs> Small, thank you so much for the ten dollar donation. I, I hope I hope I can give you a sticker somehow. So this red box is new to me. My field did not ship in a red box. What? The Talisman Solution Classics strikes again. Thank you so much for the 1111 bits. Talisman currently the monthly top cheer. Resets in two days though, but I think you've been the top cheer this whole month. Thank you. 
so the idea with stickers I had zombies thank you so much for the follow uh, with stickers I had was I don't think anyone would buy just a sticker from a vendor but the idea was that if anyone is already making a purchase from novel keys or Dixie mech I'll have to see if zeal wants to no it'll be it'll be more expensive shipping it to zeal so I don't know if the international community will want to pay more for an imported ticket but um yeah if you're already purchasing like switches from novel keys you can just add on a sticker for you know two three bucks or something like that like would people really buy stickers should do a merch store i, I do want to do a merch store 100 million but I can't sell just stickers. <laughs> like sh the shipping cost for the sticker would be more than the sticker itself. I feel like um, I I do hope to make like actual merch, but I don't think I'm I don't think I'm there yet where I can stock merch and sell it. Cause merch also gets cheaper if you mass produce it and have it in stock. Maybe if I ever hit 50k, I will consider merch. 50k on YouTube or Let's say 50k on YouTube or 50k on Twitch. Maybe I'll consider. I don't think I'm. Yeah, I don't. I'm not deserving of merch. <laughs> Maybe I'm about to buy some bulk hoodies on AliExpress now. Okay, yeah. But today we are going to be doing an Alps build. So if you guys are familiar with the Alps 64 PCB. You do have to install your own diodes. So I installed all of them, but three off stream. So we can, I can walk you guys through how you install through hole diodes, diodes at least. These are the diodes. Hmm. So these are probably the tray screws. Oof. Mr. Pudsy, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Two more months until you can upgrade to a Blue Alps badge. You need keycap lollipops? Oh man, I don't know if people sell. I don't know about selling food, that's a little edgy. <laughs> Oh, do you quit? No. Gooba types. Who is this guy? Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime stuff. So. Uh, did you have? Do you still have your box? No, I actually ended up selling my box CP. Yeah. I have sold off a significant amount of my collection to try and afford a new camera for the stream. Yeah, I also sold off a bunch recently on Mech Market. Did Jane win? I don't know. Do you think there will be interest in people wanting their boards powder coated? I do think so. The only person who currently does powder coating in the community is Mr. Norbauer. And I, I think people will be interested in powder coating. Call me if you want to talk some shit. Puzzy, are you drunk? How, how traumatic of a story is it going to be? <sighs> Yo, this is so sticky. What is this? Uh, which camera? I'm thinking about the Sony A6500. I'm not trying to upgrade my equipment. Well, it's not really an upgrade. This camera is better than what I'm trying to get. I want to get another angle though. So I, so I can rotate between this angle and this angle. You know, ideally I would like to replace th this webcam with a mirrorless camera too, but I can't afford two mirrorless cameras. Is this expensive? also need to get another capture card for that and another way to mount a DSLR I don't even know if my computer can handle 
three DSLR inputs, but yeah, I do want to get an overhead cam view. <laughs> Oof, so we are dealing with a 1.2 millimeter stainless steel plate today. Looks like it is pretty shiny. Oof, this is the this is juicy stuff. Sikonas, hello. Do I like split boards? I think they're ergonomic. I don't think there are many that look pretty though. Like aesthetics is still very big for me, and I haven't found many split boards that look nice. Where's the... You know what? <sighs> I'm too weak from keto. Aha! We hot bits. OP. Death by we hot bit. I think that's enough stabbing. <sighs> Midnight slushy, thank you so much for the follow. Feel is your end game. You hope you can buy one. Uh, I'm sure you can find a feel in the aftermarket. I don't think it should be too hard to find a feel. And yeah, I don't think it should be too hard. I realize my moving date is the same as Keycon, so you're not going. Whoops. Look. This feel. I don't know what colorway it is called. I'm guessing they're just gonna call it the silver feel. But, oof. Hmm. Is this from the wrap? What the heck is this? There's like a, do you guys see the like, kind of wider spots? I'm not sure what this is. I don't know if it's from the wrap, or if this is scuffed. <laughs> did I sell my feel? I did sell my feel. Whoa, okay, this is from my finger. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I sold my feel, so I can't compare it, but this Anno? Seems worse than mine. I don't remember my feel having... Like, it, if, I mean, it doesn't feel rough, but it looks rough. Like, it looks very rough. It, it's definitely smoother than it looks, but... I had a gray feel, and it was not this rough looking. Or it might just be that the aluminum was cut poorly? I have no idea. But yeah, my feel definitely did not have this kind of aesthetic to it. You guys feel me? This is the bottom weight. Uh, Bliss9, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. So two months. I, I like the bottom weight of the feel. I don't like this new, the inner design, but luckily they kept the outer design still the same. But yeah, we are going to build the feel classic today. 
As you guys know, the feel is a tray mount. So boom, this is the, oh, we need to weigh it. Let's weigh it. That's why I said they sound like box navy and cherry blues combined. What? In between navy switches and ch what is so special about blue ops? I've never tried, but they don't sound that great. I am most similar to box navy switches and cherry blues. Um, I mean, it's the. I th I think it sounds more elegant, but it's also the feel. Um, yeah, I mean, if you consider an Alp switch, there is a leaf, like a metal leaf. Like if this is the edge of your housing, that metal leaf literally slaps against the housing. And I think that is a superior method of generating a click. Um, the thick clicks definitely feel nice. I think thick clicks feel a lot nicer than MX, the way Cherry does it, but yeah, the, just the, mm, just the Alps way of generating tactility, I, oh, is superior. Leo just comes, Zeo just comes in and says he he and then Kuroi knows what to do. <laughs> Thank you so much for gifting a sub to Zeo Kuroi. <laughs> okay, so this feel a uh, Lord Jucifer. <laughs> Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Um, this feel bottom piece alone weighs four pounds, three point one ounces, or one thousand nine hundred two grams. I also need to go ahead and import all of this data to Chewy's spreadsheet. <laughs> I want, I haven't opened that spreadsheet in a while. Sorry if you're watching Chewy, but I, I have been weighing everything, every stream. I just, it's just a matter of going back and finding it. <laughs> um, so the plate weighs 139 grams or 4.9 ounces. Oh no, it's Grant. Thank you so much for the follow. As of the case, yeah, this case is honestly really heavy. What the heck is this? Wait, this weight is scuffed. What is this? What are these stuff here? Yo, this weight is this it's also very Okay, this this brass weight is rough. I mean not not that you'll ever touch this brass weight, but it's on the inside, but this is rough. No, it's not stab marks. I I didn't hit I didn't hit the case while I was stabbing. I was stabbing sideways. It didn't hit the bottom. This is not from me, guys. <laughs> like this is this is rougher than duck anno. Let us set this aside for now. Oh man, I should reduce the number of slurps on that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, it is on the inside. You'll never really feel it or interact with it, but most boards tend to at least make it feel soft. That one feels a little rough. So, I will demonstrate how I go about installing diodes on an ALP64 or other related PCBs. I believe, yeah, I only have three to install. So if you guys have never seen diodes, they tend to come like this. And then you just kind of pull it apart and it splits. And then you just grab the other end. Is 
and Sovereign, hello. And normally they come with a uh, little focus, a diode bender. So what you do is you take the diode bender, take the diode, place it there, and you just bend it until you get this. That's how this tool works. So simple. So elegant. What feel color do you like the most? I honestly think the gray feel looks the best. I think the gray feel. Gray or black probably. Yeah. How have I not lived without a diode bender? I mean, you don't really... This is optional. But it yeah, it does make your life easier. It bends it like just perfectly enough. I mean, you can't over bend diodes with the tool, but assuming you do it right, you can get it pretty straight. And it's just at the like right width for you to insert into the thing. So if you guys check this diode, if you can focus on it, you guys can see that one side has that black line or black circle so that black line you have to keep track of that black line and then if you guys see the pcb you guys want to look out for these diode components and to make it easy you, that black line basically you want facing the square pin there's a square pin and a circular pin on each of these diode places so that black line you saw on the diode you want to align with the square or if you want to be more fancy you want that black line to go on the cathode end whoa is this is this mod chat time Uh, you have so many rings? Will, hello. When do you think Singa will drop the next keyboard group by? I have no idea. Yeah. So, like I mentioned, you do that. And you stick it through. And then I generally, once it's all the way in, I just bend the pins so it doesn't move around. Right there, I just installed it. So that black line on the diode you want facing the square pin so that is what you do and you want to do that for all of these so i have done everything already off stream i guess it wouldn't be very fun to watch me installing diodes so i already took care of most for you guys is the customer in chat i have no idea Uh, I generally, so I for the most part tell the customer beforehand when I'll be streaming their builds, but they're not obligated to watch. Are you the reason why Koi Koi started wearing rings? Yeah, dude, Koi started wear wearing rings because of me. Okay, so we have that in. Oh shoot, I forgot to turn on my uh, soldering iron. Thoughts on the new Ronin Spring lineup? I saw the hoodies, it's a little too loud for me. Uh, we'll see. And they're like, I, I don't really need more hoodies. Yeah, it's a little too loud for me. Let's go from Albert's stream to here. Hello, Lego Pop 2K. Is Albert done streaming t today? Day 14 sucks in custom. <laughs> GG. Okay. So remember how I bent it? I bent the two pins on the other side so that uh, it wouldn't, the dial won't move afterwards. Then you gotta solder each of those parts. 
Point I pass. am very sorry, Dr. Kenholohi. I must go to sleep, so therefore I must leave my customary gift for you. So here we go. Slurp, 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 slurp. Kelly, thank you so much for the 200 bits. I hope you have a good night. Thank you for your, thank you for the Kelly classic. The Kelly classic is a 200 bits. Thank you so much, man. Uh, Gideon, hello. Leon Teich, hello, hello. Okay, I believe I have done it. Now what you do is you, you gotta clip all of these legs off on the diode so this is where your your uh, wire cutter comes in this isn't just for clipping stabs guys uh thick jamaze hello them assuming I did it right these three keys here should register Bring up. oh whoops wrong window yeah. will it work moment of truth That's how you solder through hole diodes, at least. Yeah, and I already tested. I I generally go row by row when I'm doing diodes. Uh, probably a safer thing to do than just soldering all the diodes at once and then checking the board. So yeah, the rest of the board works. So we can continue on to the build. I saw Beast messing with the board. You made him. Yeah, he actually uh, he received it on thir Thursday or Wednesday. He unboxed it on stream. He posted a video of it today on YouTube too. So that's super cool. Okay. So after dealing with the duck board, I'm kind of scared that the tray mount cutouts won't line up. It looks like that is not the case for this. It will line up. <laughs> oh. Super hot rice. Thank you so much for the follow. Can I see this? Look at all these blue Alps. I am holding in my hands. There's like, what, 60 switches in here? 60 times 3. It's 180 bucks right here in my hands. Honestly, the blue on the Blue Alps the color is so pretty. Can you open one and show me the back plate color? Mob Genius says. Are those <laughs> Matthias Alps? No, these are not Matthias Alps. No. I'm I'm too lazy, so I don't want to open it all the way. <laughs> 
That is the uh, switch plate color. Looks like it's gray. Does this help, Mog? Yeah. Oh, a blue Alps. Oh my gosh. I gotta I gotta pause my music for a little bit. Ready to hear this? Um, if it's desaturated, it's probably my uh, color, my uh, color science of the camera. <laughs> I also have a super harsh light, like literally shining at it, so that might also be a reason. Do I go out to eat or save money and eat at home? Giving you my money as I debate about saving it. Tie dab. <laughs> Shenanigans. Take a for the two hundred bits. Um, you should. Uh, eat at home and save money. You should join the keto diet with me. That is the big brain play. And I uh, thank you so much for the 200 bits. Hmm, okay, so my bot, my bot shows the message for the cheers, but he doesn't show the bot for anything else. Hmm. All right, so Alp switches do not clip in. So I'm going to have to solder a couple first. Do I recommend box shades? Yeah, they're a great clicky switch. Box shades are a pretty good clicky switch. What's your opinion on white Alps? Similar to blue Alps, but stiffer. Uh, yeah, I honestly think white Alps are underrated. Like Blue Alps definitely take the spotlight for Clicky Alps, but if you can find good White Alps, it honestly feels really nice. Um, there is a group by, I don't know if it ended, but there is someone, there's a group by for Nas White Alps on Desk 40 right now. If you guys haven't heard of it or checked it out. Keto diet is so healthy and insane. Is it really healthy though? I've heard mixed reviews about it. It's my first time trying it out. We'll see if it works for me. It's only day four. What kind of soldering kit do I have? Uh, Chong. I have a link to all of the tools that I use in my uh, panel, but it's a Hako kit. See that Fontaine sticker? Yeah. I, yeah. I got some Fontaine decks in last or two weeks ago. Keto is a very is very healthy if you make sure you eat enough and get your nutrients. I hope I am doing it properly. But yeah, I, I've been feeling so tired lately. I didn't gym all week because I just I didn't have the energy to have to work. I'm hoping it can get to the point where I'll just burn fat and not have to worry about gymming. We'll see. Not gymming honestly saves so much time. <sighs> Ola Samuel, hello.
had friends on it. Yeah, I have a couple friends on it right now. And they have all had pretty successful results. So I'm hoping I can say the same for me. Okay. Once you get over keto, you'll fever, you'll feel fine, if not better than normal. Yeah, that's what I've heard. You just have to get over the hump and then you feel better. Okay, starting keto right now. Here's the money I saved, by the way. <laughs> Sean Anakin's thank you so much for another 200 bits. Oof. Yeah, welcome to the keto life. No exhaust fume. Oh yeah, I'm just going to solder the four switches on the corners. Uh, Alp switches, they don't have... Yeah, they don't clip to the PCB, so I just soldered four on so I can actually start doing this. Have I tried the T1 switches yet? No, I have not. I have not. Uh, KBD fans will be sending me some, but I haven't received them yet. What do you think of GMK Vaporwave? I think it looks superb if real colors match the renders. Can you send me a link for it? I actually have no idea what that looks like. How much is the cost of such a keyboard? This particular keyboard or uh, what keyboard? These blues feel pretty nice. They feel pretty clean. I would rate these blues very well. I'll link the geek cockpit. If, yeah, you can. Yeah, I uh, I have links enabled in my chat. As long as you guys don't abuse it, I am okay with it. If it ever gets bad, then I will restrict it. But for now, anyone can post links. Uh, Mongo X BL. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. I thought feel was Cherry compatible different PCB. Yeah, so this is using a uh, it's an Alps PCB. But the field just uses a standard 60% tray mount uh, system. So if you can find a plate and PCB that supports it, you can definitely make it out. So, okay, the Mr. Bian sent me this. Uh, let's see, sure browser. Let's see. Oh, wow. They might as well just have named this like GMK diva or something i feel like this is more diva themed than vaporwave um i i don't know if i like the pink on the purple like it hurts my eyes you know what i'm saying i mean it, yeah it looks cool at first but it hurts my eyes after a while. But it, this also seems like it's going to be a color matching nightmare. <laughs> I'm also not huge on purple. I'm not the best person to ask about purple, but yeah, I, I hope it turns out well. Yeah, I mean, I, I would say this is definitely I think is unique enough from existing key sets. So I think that's a good thing, but executing it is another thing. So yeah, hope it turns out well. I know there is a huge demand for more vaporwave and cyberpunk themed stuff in the community. So yeah. Yo, Blue Crystal, hello. Is, uh, is Ed back streaming or is he still figuring it out? I actually hated it at first, but the set grows on me every time someone dug up that thread. I, I, I think there is potential. Um, I, I personally think the contrast is a little too sharp for the alphas. So maybe if that can be fixed somehow.
And the nice thing with Alps, don't have to worry about installing stabilizer. You're just gonna take the rest of the night off? Yeah. TBH, I would too, man. I was rather more shocked when he said, I will come back later. <laughs> If, if I were in this position, I would have just taken the night off. Wait a minute. Is this plate directly from Mechanisk? Does someone see an issue here? Who can name the issue? Wait, does this, oh no. Yeah, there's a center mounting point, but the plate covers it. The PCB supports it, but the plate covers it. That should be interesting. Yeah, man. I mean, I'm not in the OSA community, but if anyone's in the OSA community, send some love to uh, Mr. Bistro. Apparently his, uh, his account got hacked. That's never a good thing. Uh, Nazi, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Three months in a row. Oof. You're officially on spring break. Nice. I will be streaming tomorrow and Sunday as well, so. Tons of stream for you to watch. And yeah, you're also a three month sub, so that means you are now a Cherry MX switch and not the Hako switch. Your Albi sub ran out. Oof. Feels bad. Seeing Beast Troll's video with you sent me back. Take out the middle standoff. I don't think it comes off. Yeah, I, I, it looked like I could screw it off, but I think that's just because of the, uh, is it, is it removable? I don't think it's removable. I think it just looks like that because, um, because of the weight. It was an old password that got leaked. It sucks, but whatever. Yeah, it does suck. Can't wait when you until you become a high tech, high tech space innovator. That'll be a while. I think that's the two year mark, right? I haven't even streamed for a year, and that's the two year mark badge. I mean, it sucks as an understatement. Yeah, definitely. I'll seek her. Hello, I'm doing pretty good. Pretty good. The build is going smoothly so far. No sh issues. You're here just to de-stress. Oh, blue crystal. So you only watch. I'm just your second choice, huh? You only come when there is stress, huh? I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I'll seek her. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. So, uh, what? Just got into mechanical keyboards, but what kind of switches are those? These are SKCM Blue Alps. They're actually a vintage switch. Uh, these switches are no longer made. Um, but yeah, they're a vintage switch. Alp switches, despite being vintage and hard to find and no longer manufactured, people still like them quite a bit. I am a huge fan of Alps myself. Uh, Pez, please rent. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Nice and things. Ooh, you just also hit the three month mark. You are now a Cherry MX Red switch. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, really the bottom of the barrel. Oof, feels bad. I'm just kidding. I would, I would watch anyone else over me too. What? Who is this man? Eames Bird. 
Uh, thank you so much for gifting five subs. Um, Mix, Precum, Z, Z to all, Sigmi, Perk, Loan. Welcome, welcome. Uh, thank you for the gift. <laughs> uh, Ad Hawkish, thank you so much for the three months as well. You are also now a Cherry MX Red Switch. I got auto modded. Oh shoot, what'd you say? <laughs> Never lucky. OMG semi semi sober didn't come from Twitch Prime sub as well. <laughs> Linear baby. <laughs> okay, so we have just installed the switches on the keyboard. Now we have to solder the switches on. Do you personally like Alps? Uh, yes, I do. I personally, personally love Alps, but the, the Alps game is very hard, it's, it's definitely hard, not an easy thing to do. And for those of you guys who don't know, uh, good Alp switches will run you around two to three dollars per switch. Maybe more if they're like super clean, but yeah, that's that's what I mean by hard. I mean the hard you you gotta first find Alp switches. There aren't many in the world, but if you find it, they're generally a lot more expensive than cherry switches. And then finding keycaps is a whole new other story for Alps. Favorite clicky switch. I need to. Oh, can you give some info about what these T1 switches are? Millie Birdie asks. I actually don't know much about it other than the fact that they are supposed to be. Um, like 95% close to Holy Pandas or something. They're essentially Holy Panda clones. I think that's what KBD fans is targeting them as. Yeah, the sound alone is enough to make them worth it. I think so, but you have to get good ones. If you get bad Alps, they feel they feel really bad. So you, the hard part is finding nice good Alps. I need to find some neon green Alps. Man, the neon green Alps are still one of the few things I have not tried in the... Not few things, there are many things I haven't tried, but neon green Alps is one of them still. I uh, just ordered my first soldering station yesterday after learning at work this week and watching your streams. Oof! What, uh, what soldering station did you get? I'm getting into keyboard building, and but money is a problem so I have to work, but hopefully one day I can build a nice keyboard with KLJ switches and camping keycaps. Oof, I hope you can get that as well. Uh, D Rick. Derek Zhu, what is the best linear switch out there? I have a best linears command if you want to look into that. Oh, you got the 888D? Nice, nice. Very nice. <laughs> Anything but camping? Hey, when it comes to soldering... You guys know what it means when I solder. Solder time means <laughs> uh, it's best. They're all plural, Chong. It's best clickies and best. There is no best switches. There's best clickies and best tactiles. But yeah, solder time means sponsor time. Yeah, the first sponsor we have of this channel is Cable Car Designs. 
you guys want to know where I get all my nice cables with these awesome Lima connectors, head on over to Cable Car Designs. Um, I have all of my sponsors linked in the affiliate and sponsors panel under my Twitch. But yeah, I do have a affiliate link with them. Um, using my link will get you 5% off all orders. So yeah, head on over to cablecardesigns.com slash types. Next up we have Dixie Mech. I also have an affiliate link with Dixie Mech as well. Using my affiliate link will get you 5% off your Dixie Mech orders too. Uh, GMK Minimal, today's the last day. Only a couple hours left. If you guys want to go ahead and grab a clean minimal black on white set, GMK Minimal, I would highly recommend. Only a couple hours left. Using my affiliate link will get you 5% off that purchase. Next up we have KBD Fans. KBD Fans is the go-to place right now currently for entry level or budget builds. Uh, Beast Troll, I recently sent his board out to him. You guys can watch his video that he uploaded recently or my VODs. But uh, yeah, Beast Troll currently uses a keyboard kit from KBD Fans. So that's got to say something. Right? Yeah, KBD fans highly recommended. Um, yeah, they're they're honestly killing the market in terms of entry level, entry front. Yeah, lower budget and entry level kits. So head on over to KBD fans. The next sponsor we have is oh, we have Mr. Quantra Q2. If you build it. They will come? What? Um, yeah, next up we have Kono over at Kono.store. I would highly recommend signing up on the waitlist for their Keystone silo switches and the boards that are going to be coming out with them. Um, a new style of switch that has yet to be seen in the market so I I am personally very excited about that switch so yeah be, definitely keep your eyes peeled out for that it's gonna be a couple months before the Kickstarter even goes live but yeah I mean I I have played around with the prototype switches whenever I visited uh, the input club headquarters so it's very exciting very exciting and let's just say it has a lot of potential to to, uh, to disrupt the current market. In terms of just the uh, the switch technology, ah, the switch technology. Yeah, uh, over at Kona.store, GMK Line is currently live, as well as SA Com Depths. So if you guys are interested in either of those two sets, consider joining it as well. Um, SA Granite will be coming later this year. They also have the Kira Stealth, which you can join, or just the regular Kira. And the Ergodox as well. Next up, we have Novel Keys. You guys haven't heard? GMK Metropolis is went live this week. I believe it's, it already broke MOQ for almost all the sets. Except for the extra, or one of the sets, but I mean, it's expected to break MOQ too. It's only the first week and it already broke MOQ. Um, the desk mats. Oh man, have you guys seen the desk mats for Metropolis? I went in for two, no, I went in for three desk mats. I got two of the big ones and one of the small ones. I think that desk mat, high key, one of the best desk mats on the market currently. Well, not on the market, it's not available yet, but once it ships, I think that desk mat will be very nice. So yeah, um, I, have an, I have a promo code with Novel Keys. If you use the promo code NK space X space NK, it will give you 5% off all orders. And it is reusable, 
Novel Keys has a bunch of desk mats, switches. They even stock lube now. I know a lot of you guys have been complaining that you guys can't get lube. Novel Keys stocks up on lubes now, guys. Isn't that crazy? So yeah, head on over to Novel Keys and go place your orders with my discount code. Uh, do you know how, roughly how long it will take cable cars design to ship? Um, I think he... It depends on if he has the parts or not. He makes each cable to order. So like if you request a certain color or a USB end or a connector that he doesn't have in stock, he, uh, he actually orders it and then builds it once he gets it. I would say generally two to four weeks, I would say, give him. Yeah, I mean, he is a one-man show. He also does other things. This is a side thing for him as well. Um, he's a decently fairly active community member. You can always reach out to him on Reddit or Discord or email. So yeah, I would say give him two to four weeks. And if he still hasn't gotten back to you on any updates, then send him a message. And he probably closed orders because he was probably filled with a bunch of them after my sponsorship with him. So yeah, I don't think like it's not a he's not gonna close down his business. He's just closing it now, just like I do, so that he doesn't have too many orders in the backlog, and then he just ends up with customers who don't hear from him for months. So yeah, just just give him some time. But uh, I'd say if he hasn't. Yeah, if he hasn't taken any initiative to reach out to you or send you your cable within a month, after a month, then definitely reach out to him. I subbed three minutes into this and got no banner. W Maple says, oh, feels bad, GG. Uh, well, thank you for the sub, W Maples. <laughs> I don't know what's up with Twitch today. Uh, Maeve, Mavi, thank you so much for the follow. We want our attention. Your alerts are off. My sub didn't show. My, I haven't changed anything. Alerts have been going off for some people. Maybe it's a Streamlabs thing? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I haven't touched anything. Would it change midstream? I literally haven't took the alerts. Yeah, I mean subscriptions are enabled. They're all enabled. But yeah, may maybe it's the uh, stream lapse that feels bad. Yeah, it was work. It was going off earlier, so I feel like something might have happened on Streamlabs. Isn't and I'm sorry for that. Also, do any of you guys? Are there other streamers out there? Should I switch to Stream Elements? Seems like a lot of people are using Stream Elements nowadays. Is that what the cool kids do instead of Streamlabs? Or should I eat, just ditch both all together and just use vanilla OBS? Hello, can't confirm Nathan does not know how to ship keyboards. <laughs> RIP. Uh, stream elements overlay is so bad to set up. I don't really have an overlay though. Or are you just talking about placements in general? Yeah, so what what are the benefits of stream elements over stream labs? Can I this 
can I use my Streamlabs chatbot with stream elements? Nice sticker, TY man, TY. Smooth conversion to the new layers, yeah. Yellow yeah, CSGO, thank you so much for the 50 bits and need to grind towards the next batch. <laughs> Hi Nathan, give me free stickers. Broke. I can't just give you free stickers. Well it's free for customers. Hi gamer keyboard builder Kantai Osu, hello. Dr. Woke. Thank you so much for another 50 bits. I forgot to resub until today. Oof. Contact Osu, thank you so much for the follow. Okay, maybe the alerts are back. The follows and bits are showing up. Maybe stream maybe stream labs have a little brain fart for a little bit. Wait, I forgot. I wasn't done with my sponsor segment. Last but not least, we have Zeal over at Zeal PC. Zeal PC is the place to go if you want nice high-end boutique switches. Beast Troll MC has Zealios V2s in his keyboard. Hyped, come on now, how are you gonna link a Zeal link without my affiliate link? I do have an affiliate link with Zeal. It is zealpc.net slash types. <laughs> Freaking hyped, man. <laughs> um, but yeah, Zeal has some of the best linears and tactiles on the market right now. Yalox uh, CSGO, thank you so much for another 50 bits. I'm deciding between this keyboard and a Razer Chroma for a gaming keyboard, which should I get? You're deciding between this keyboard? What is this keyboard? You didn't specify what this keyboard is. You know this keyboard. Yeah, what is this keyboard that you're talking about? just cheered another 50 bits and you said this keyboard again. This keyboard? The Fiel? Uh, between the Fiel and the Razer, I would definitely go for the Fiel. Assuming you can get the Fiel at a reasonable price, I wouldn't pay more... I wouldn't pay anything in the 300s for a Fiel. Nathan, you're the reason why I started building. I recently built my first tofu with Telios and it's so craygasm illy bad. Oof. Welcome to the club. Koi. Koi. I. Koi. But Fagel, no rainbow? What are you saying, yo? <laughs> I don't even know what you're saying anymore. But. Gel, no rainbow. Oh, the Fiel has no RGB. Um, you can get a Zeal 60, I think. You can get a DZ 60. Sorry, DZ 60 has RGB. It has per switch RGB, my friend. Memory R, I'll think it's much more follow. 
Hey Nathan, what set of keycaps would look good on an orange framed board? I feel like I seriously limited my options on picking orange. Uh, probably GMK Carbon. Uh, I personally think orange and blue can work pretty well, so you can go for a blue set. There's a nice orange set. There's an orange set that's running right now. That is not a win. Oh, Skidada. Yeah, Skidada would look nice too. Skidada. Uh, M. Jarkison, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub. Oof, you just became a Cherry MX switch as well. Yeah, how can I forget Skidada? Skidada. Sean Adigan, thank you so much for the 100 bits. I'm sorry, Kim Sunsang Ning just failed the keto diet. <laughs> Feels bad. Shenanigans' keto diet didn't even last one hour. Yikes. What'd you end up getting, man? Uh, Jane V2 or Razor Black Widow Elite Yellow Siesco asks. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Yellow Siesco, is that even a question? Jane V2 all the way, man. I had a meal prep with pasta and then I'll start at next meal prep time. Oof. Wait, you're actually gonna start keto? <laughs> I mean, is there a reason? You're considering keto? Big zapper cutouts. What does that mean? What is a big zapper cutout? Because you told me. <laughs> hey, okay, shenanigans. <laughs> I mean, I'm only doing it in hopes of losing weight. How come you started keto? Uh, to lose weight. Supposedly, it works well for losing weight. Um, but I mean, also for... I don't plan on being super strict with keto long term. But I, I do want to limit the amount of carbs and sugar I generally take in on a daily basis. Be done whole 30. I have not done whole 30. I need to do the opposite. I am a skinny boy humble brag. It must be nice, Sean Anakins. I've never been a skinny boy in my life. I've always been a thick boy. I think even if I lost all my weight, I'd still be a thick boy. Like my bones are just bigger than the average person like my bones are pretty thick for an asian boy like even if i lost all the fat in my body i probably couldn't fit into a small i would still have to wear a medium I am a normal Asian boy. <laughs> Drinking more milk equals equals thick boy. Is that a Luffy sticker? Of course it's a Luffy sticker. Have you not noticed the uh, bot names, Corey? I have Teha Teha Chopper. And then later on you'll get to meet Teha D Luffy. Yalox CSGO thing is for the 50 bits. Is Kelly better than you at building keyboards? I don't know, man. I just can I do know. I have felt Kelly's board at the middle. Um, I, I would say I'm better. 
I'd say I'm better than Kevin. But I mean, in terms of building a keyboard, there's not really much you can do. It's more so the lubing that affects the build. Um, I don't remember what Kelly's stabs felt like. So can't comment too much on that. Teha is types as a good dancer. Uh, Vintage Room just gifted a sub to Antifall. Thank you so much for the gift, Vintage Room. Yeah, Lux, yes, go, just don't need another 50 bits. He put a drill to a mech mini. Yeah, I've never gone that far yet. <laughs> okay, so I finished soldering. Ooh. Let's see. This works. Did I miss any switches? Oh, six. Hmm. Wait, what? Maybe it's a bad switch. It's definitely so. I'm guessing this is FN key. Hmm. Okay, so E and 6 are the problem child. Q, W, E. E is definitely soldered on. As well as 6. Okay, maybe the switches are bad. <sighs> Spare, hello, hello, hello. I have seen that clip. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 50 bits though. Luckily, I was sent extras. So I need my wick. Oh, actually, I have my pump too. QWE, QWE. K45. CSGO, thank you so much for the 50 bits. What is the PCB for the feel? It is using a Alp 64 PCB. Uh, did I just get this sucker? Yes, I did. Wait, did I desolder the wrong one? Oh. There's too much to suck for this. Maybe I should stick to... I just pay $79 for a plate. Uh, for what keyboard? That's pretty expensive, don't it?
Go for a VEA, that's why. <laughs> why do you own a VEA? That's my question. Uh, BTS Army 24, thank you so much for the follow. Hmm, wait, okay, let me test it first. Is it the sw oh? Is it the switch? Or does something happen while soldering? Okay, so E triggers. So it's might it's probably the bad switch. So that's a bad switch. Real talk, Nathan. Why do I? I mean, I guess if you type slow, that's okay. But. Yeah, I typed on it, and the uh, the SATA cable prevents me from typing too fast, so I can't I can't use it. <laughs> Spare, how how are you doing? What what time is it over there? Is it morning or night for you? Four thirty AM still Leopold two tone hunting GG <laughs> There we go. Okay, the next up was the six. The six I'm pretty sure is also a Which issue? the difference between an integrated plate and a non-integrated plate also what are your thoughts on the think yo pob thank you so much for the five or the four dollar donation hold on um can i explain integrated plate yeah i can i don't have an example of an integrated plate to show you but um let's see this is this here is not an integrated plate it's not integrated in the sense that the, the plate is not attached to the case and for an integrated plate you literally have the plate it's literally it's not cut out from the plate so maybe maybe a picture might be best oh and i don't have a keyboard integrated plates are integrated yeah i mean there's there's not much really to it it's like you it's the, the plate is literally integrated into the case like it's not something you can uh, detach like this here let me see if i can grab a picture of it uh, so the aek 64 is an integrated plate um, oh yeah, yeah. I would say check out my any of my VODs on the AEK64 and you can see what I mean by an integrated plate. Uh, the AEK, it's a two-piece case. There's a top and a bottom piece. But the top piece has the plate. Uh, it's literally a part of the top piece. So the, normally, okay, well the feel, the feel is a tray mount, so it has no top piece. <laughs> but, but generally, your keyboard not generally, some keyboards have a top and bottom piece, right? And then the plate is something that's separate that you either screw into the top or bottom somehow. But an integrated plate, usually it will just be a part of this top piece, so it's not removable. That's integrated plate. Uh, my thoughts on the Think 65, I, I hope it turns out well. I mean, it, it hasn't come to fruition yet, so I can't really say much about it. 
I personally don't like the little weight thing they have going on there aesthetically but I, I think what they're going for is respectable they're trying to make a affordable polycarbonate board which does not exist in the community so yeah I hope it turns out well Pros of integrated plate? I'm not the person to ask. I personally don't like integrated plate. <laughs> um, I mean, it's if you like a very stiff bottom out integrated plate, definitely feels stiff to me. Um, but yeah, I personally don't like that stiff bottom out and also don't like the way integrated plate sounds. Wait. This is moving. There we go. It's a bad switch. Integrated plate weird flex, but okay. Yeah, I guess the only real pro would be, uh, sorry. Okay. Uh, it's not really a pro it's just preference <laughs> but integrated plates tend to have a stiffer bottom out feel and the sound also tends to be I would say even it sounds a little bit more even across the board uh, where's my wick this is my wick Hick Choi, thank you so much for the follow. How many spat switches did I send? Oh, that's your name. I did not know that was your uh, Twitch name. <laughs> well, I've had two bad switches so far. I've had to replace the E and the six key. Uh, one of the keys on the bottom row doesn't work, but I don't know if that's because the function key hasn't been programmed in or not. I know for the Alp 64, generally I've had to flash a new layout for it to work. For some reason, I've never had a Alp 64 with the full layer programmed in. There we go, six. Okay, it works. replace the H2. I swear the H was working last time. What happened? Yeah, so this middle key is also not registering. Oh, it does work. I lied. Oh, but it's a bad... Is it not soldered? No, it is soldered on, but it doesn't trigger... Oh, not triggers all. Okay, so it looks like FN key does work. Okay. What? Okay, FN key works. Now I gotta replace H. A S D F G H. It feels good though. A S D F G H. So K seventy three. Let's see if I can just wick this whole thing. Crap! I forgot it. A S D F G H. K seventy three.
A S T F G H. Thoughts on the KBD67, it, it's, a, it's a pretty good starting kit. Uh, enjoy your YouTube channel, saw that you were live, so I dropped by for a follow. Hello, thank you for stopping by. Mark my words. Good luck, Spear. Uh, yeah, I mean, it shouldn't be too hard to find. Hmm, I want this budge. Maybe I should refill it. And try to suck. What would you recommend for a 65% layout? Does KBD fans have a 65% layout? The KBD 67, I suppose. Um. Oh, yikes, what the heck happened there? Ah, Tada 68, yes. Tada 68. There we go. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. How does bottom mount differ from top mount in terms of feel and sound? Ooh, that's a good question. So bottom mount, I have not tried. There aren't many bottom mount boards out there. I've never tried a bottom. Oh, just kidding. I have tried a canoe. I believe a canoe is bottom mount. But I don't remember too much of it. Jagan Kom, thank you so much. Oh, Chagan Kom, thank you so much for the follow. Okay, let's see. Does this. Does the H. What? Oh, I don't have the program open. <laughs> Dang! The H works. Okay. Now we can move on. Didn't think I would have to replace three switches. scaring me with your face so close to the board while using lettuce solder and no fan. Uh, I blow, I hold my breath and I blow out afterwards really quickly. And I'm not super sensitive to it, so yeah. Who knows, maybe it might have health effects in the long term. Okay, so we're going to use AEK keycaps as well as I believe I was sent oh okay this just has the keys okay so we can put on some of the keys Q So we have the Hiragana AK, not Hiragana, 
Yeah, here we go on our AQ keycaps. Q, W, E. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Is this a build for yourself? No, it is not. It is a customer build. Thoughts on the sucker? Uh, I like it. I mean, you do, it does, you do have to like clear out the thing every time, but I don't really mind doing that. Katakana, sorry boy. <laughs> Sorry, boy underscore pie. Always here to chastise me. C C -P. Would you rather blue alps or amber alps? I am personally a blue alps person. Amber alps felt a little bit too heavy for my liking. It does need stabs koi koi but you do it last. So there the alp stabs mount or clip onto the plate. So you do it after you solder everything. I'm just putting on keycaps because uh, I just felt like doing it. King Nixter 99, thank you so much for the follow. CXC M. U I O P six seven J K one. Call me David, the C is silent. Wait, what? Even if you take out C, how do you get David out of that? <laughs> what? <laughs> I will call you David from now on. Koi. Can you demonstrate how much wobble there is in the Alps? It seems like there isn't much. There isn't that much wobble, I'd say. Yeah, I, I, I personally don't think Alps wobble all that much. Don't know. I, I mean, I'm also generally not bothered by uh, like wobble, like SA high pro. They all have. Oh shoot! This is the wrong. <laughs> this is a zero, not a O. Yeah, I, I don't. As long as it's not like, I've never felt that a switch had severe wobble for me to not use it. So yeah. Your boy has arised. Hey, the Raging Asian. No need for a straw poll today, though. It is a uh, fixed keycap set choice, so. You can take a break today. Can I put GMK camping on this? Please! I was sent this. Never ordered or purchased Matthias stabs, so I do not know it came like this. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, nothing revealing on this. So this is the one we don't want to use. We uh we just want to go with this. This is so cursed. Spare sent me something. Cherry MX. <laughs> Yikes. Cherry MX witches. I guess I. Yeah, I guess I'm just pumped to do my first build. Oof, what are you building? Uh, PJ zero nine one four. Okay, so with Alps, I like to use a flat head to, uh, to clip these on. Oh no! Man, I, sh I shouldn't have cut my nails. <laughs> That is in there. How to lube Alp stabs? I'll show you, my friend. I mean, I have demonstrated on previous streams where I've done Alp stabs, but. Okay. Got those two in there. What is this black? What? Like producing black stuff. At least the clips are sitting there very securely, so that's good. zoom in a little so you guys can see what I'm doing I'm thinking of getting topers or silence, but still can't decide. Currently have cherry reds. Those are very different switches. <laughs> and very different ecosystems. Okay, I have installed all the clips. We need the plunger for later. This came in this bag. Okay, so this is Alps. I do the stabs last. Let's start with the back space. Yes, yeah, so I also use 205. 
Oh, my focus is trash. I also use tool five grade zero for uh, for Alps. I just take some tool five and I apply some to the clip. You guys can see why I'm applying clip. So you can see for Alp stabs, there's these little inserts. So that's where the wire is going to go. So I just apply a coating there. And then, uh, just for these little two years. Yes, this is right shift. And then, take some 205. Oh, that's too much. And apply it on the wire, just at the tip here. I do the same for the other side. Topra big bad. Topra is not big bad. Topra is Topra's life, dude. Once you've done that, you clip. In. Nice. And you want to apply some tool five grade zero onto this end now. Make sure you get the underside of the wire too. And do the same for the other side. So now you gotta fill up this space here with the 205 grade zero. So here I go a little bit more generous than I do with the wire. And you fill up that empty space. 205 grade zero. Oh, there's a nice, even, ooh, it's a little too much. Coding. And once that done, clip it in. Uh-oh, they did not clip. Oh, I didn't clip all the way. No! I missed the wire. <laughs> I pulled the clips out too, dang it. <laughs> now I gotta reinstall these clips. Feels bad. These wires are in here very... Let's retry that. Gotta make sure the... What? Are these not compatible? Why does it... Mm, okay, maybe this wire... Nope. There we go. Do that for everything else.
The Zazia locks. Thank you so much for the follow. Have you guys tried the clear sky housings? I have read that it solves some of the wall. No, I have not tried the clear sky housings. This is the return key. Shiroshi Zero, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, did you post a stream schedule for the weekend announcement? Uh, the Rage Nation? No, I haven't. So I'm planning on not posting those anymore. I do have it. Um, I do have the uh, Streamlabs countdown panel under my stream. So I'm planning on just using that in the future. Um, I mean, it should be pretty standard though. I have I think I'll keep it to the times I have been streaming pretty much the past three months so uh, yeah I think from now on I'll only post uh, if I won't be streaming so if I don't make an announcement you can assume I will be streaming that day at the usual times Uh, which has the better design in your opinion, Cherry or Alps Stabs? Ooh, that's a hard question. So the w nice thing about Alps Stabs, I like that you can access them without having to desolder your um, your board. Cherry Stabs, I mean, if you use plate mounted stabs and it doesn't matter, but most people use GMK screwing and if you want to access the stabs after the fact you have to desolder your board. I think that's the one benefit of Alp stabs but they are definitely more of a pain to install. I don't know, lose they both have their pros and cons I think. I feel like these wires are not bent at the right length. There's a little bit of resistance. I feel like the wire is bent. The, 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 the lead is fine. Yeah, there's a little bit of resistance here. The wire is bar is definitely bent for sure okay where's the pipe key pipe key oh no I can't put the pipe key on yet because of the train mount okay let's do the left shift the streamlabs panel doesn't work on mobile what does it really not work on mobile doesn't work on mobile, I didn't know that. Um, okay, I guess I should make, I guess I should make a panel that just explicitly lists the uh, schedule. What loop is that? This is 205 grade 0. 
Crytox 205 grade 0. And your streams are always so relaxing, Illy Dad. Thanks, David, for the kind words. I hope it provides a good break from the general Twitch stream. That tends to be very hyphy, action packed, you know? You watch those in the morning and then you come to my stream at night so you can cool down on all the peppy hands and pogs you threw early on in the day with my boring stream. <laughs> Are they more stable than the cherry? And how about rattle? I guess rattle goes hand in hand with how stable they are. Um, I would say, hmm, I don't know if I can objectively say they're more stable. Maybe, I, I would say maybe slightly less stable than cherry. But I, I personally don't feel bothered by cherry stabs. Um, I don't think most, I think most Alps people would say that, I mean, Alps stabs aren't the greatest, but like it's not something that you'll hate your life over. Uh, if you build Alps correctly, the stabs can feel perfectly fine. Uh, just, yeah. yeah and, and you can tune Alps stabs to have no rattle. So. I mean, the concept for both st uh, forms of stabilizers are the same, right? They're still, Cherry and Alps are still both using a wire of some sorts to stabilize longer keys. Uh, it's just they implement it a little bit differently, but both of them have empty spaces for the wire to rattle in, and both require tuning. So. I think at the core of it, the uh, both are pretty similar. Relaxing is not the same as boring. I feel like my streams aren't that fun sometimes. I, don't know, I feel like. Watching a game is a lot more entertaining than watching me solder and putting on switches, you know? I feel like my stream is more interesting in the sense that like you see stuff you normally wouldn't see and you get to see a lot of cool boards. But like the process of building it, I don't know, you guys find that fun? <laughs> You see Rama's TKL board? Yeah, I did. The U80. I mean, it's been known for a while that Rama was going to make it. It's cool to see that it's finally going to happen soon. Different audience for everything. That's true. Spear, maybe I should pre-order the keyboard on MK, Nathan. <laughs> yeah, up to you. I mean, uh, will, will you be sending it directly to yourself? Or me. I mean, if you're sending it to yourself, that doesn't really matter. But if you want me to tune it for you, that's a different story. You find it interesting. I invented the keyboard, so I've seen everything. Dang, okay, vintage room. 
I find these streams more fun than watching games. Games are annoying to watch, IMO. The stream is so chill. I got to learn how to build all types of boards, so I'd say it's pretty fun. It's oddly satisfying seeing a project go from start to finish. Hmm. It's fun because y'all are nerds. I'm just kidding. Spam rate for everyone on the edge of their seats. <laughs> I've never been able to adapt to any smaller board than TK I've been holding up, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm personally not a huge fan of small form factors. Like, I, I need dedicated arrow keys. Uh, my life is very miserable without them. So yeah, TKO, I prefer TKO. If you find it for a good price, we can do it that way. Okay. Nathan, do you game at all? I used to game. I don't game anymore. I don't have time to game anymore. I work, gym, and come home. And then it's pretty much keyboard, handling keyboard stuff afterwards. I'm also at an awkward point. Like, do you guys prefer that I. So I started off on YouTube, but do you? And, but now I'm like definitely more of a streamer. Like I haven't. I mean, I still make typing videos, but I haven't really been able to make like a dedicated like review video or anything. And like with my current time and resources, I don't have the capacity to do both. Like it's either I dedicate myself to streaming or I dedicate myself to YouTube. Um, especially now that I'm a Twitch partner, like if I don't keep my numbers up, then I might lose that partner, you know? So I'm like at a weird crossroad where... I mean, not that I don't enjoy streaming, but I also want to make like YouTube videos and like reviews, but... I don't know, do you guys like me as a streamer better or... You guys prefer that I just not stream and then made YouTube videos. Jim, do you lift, bro? Juan and Amelie, I lift on and off. Um, but lately, I've just been doing a lot of cardio. It's kind of trying to lose weight, you know? But yeah, I, I lift on and off. to review stream sometimes yeah I, could. I mean i i do i do pretty much review stuff on stream people ask me questions i talk about them live on stream but you know sometimes just like the inner creative side of you just wants to make a nice video yeah stream reviews put on youtube done stream are sick find some time for pure re reviews just for youtube keep the builds exclusive for twitch love videos but love your stream more okay I prefer streams, but definitely keep uploading the VODs to YouTube. Cardio is hardio. Yeah, cardio is hardio. <laughs> I'm cultivating that dad bod. Yeah, I have a... Mm, I might be beyond a dad bod. So that's why I decided to go on keto. I think balancing YouTube and Twitch is best as you can pull viewers from both platforms. Yeah, I mean, so that that's the ideal, right? Red Wing Blackbird, but like all this content creation stuff is stuff on the side. <laughs> I have a full-time job and like my content creation isn't at a point where I can just do it full-time. It can't support me. Um, so yeah, that's why current, I mean, if I could do it full time, I'm sure I could probably balance it a lot better. But until I get to that point, I feel like I have to prioritize one over the other. I 
don't know. I mean, I I still like the only YouTube videos I make now are the typing test videos. But I've still been gathering viewers on YouTube, so maybe that's enough for now. Like Twitch definitely has its perks, yeah, and it's definitely a lot more interactive, which I like. But like YouTube has its a different purpose too, right? Um, I've seen both Angel Nathan and Kairos go from a couple hundred subs to thousands. Dang, I I wasn't. I don't think I started watching Kairos right until he was already in the thousands. So you are pretty OG Angel AR Tech. But yeah, Angel AR Tech, you are definitely one of my OG viewers. Thank you. Uh, would you say box whites are a superior clicky switch compared to MX Blues? Yes, I would say box whites are better than MX Blues. I would say box whites, jades, click pinks, navies are all superior to blues. Personally, I mean, I, I know some people who genuinely like MX Blues and some people genuinely like the hysteresis of MX Blues. So it's like MX Blues have a rep for being bad. And I, I would say they kind of are, <laughs> but I mean, there are some people who genuinely like it. And if you like it, that's perfectly fine. Keto is, cr I have a coworker who's doing keto, but he's just starving himself. I'm not starving myself. I'm definitely eating. It's just, I miss the carbs and sugar. Carb, carbs I can do with. I think the harder part is the sugar. Just like, just so much food that you eat out has sugar in it. Carbs are life. Too bad I love carbs, Lark Carp says. Keto ruined my metabolism in my early 20s. Oof, how does it ruin your metabolism? I slowed it down a lot. I find it hard being able to lose any weight while eating good, clean carbs. Oh, huh, okay. Well, so my metabolism already is very trash. Like my meta- yeah, my met- like Lark Carps, my metabolism is like ridiculously slow. Like, I'm one of those people, like, I can't snack. If I snack, I just balloon. I'm so jealous of people who can, like, snack and not get, not gain weight. Hmm, okay. Oh, man. Yeah, snacking kills me. Yeah, let's <laughs> like I I knew from an early age I couldn't snack. So like snacking I'm very I'm pretty disciplined about I like I I'm pretty disciplined disciplined about not snacking and I've never been oh, what do I do? I've never been a snacker my whole life because I I just know my body. My body just gonna balloon. Um and now that it's affecting like my actual diet, I'm just like, oof, it hurts. Everyone is different, but I have seen a lot of people regret keto. Yeah. Oh, so okay. So Juan Emily, I don't plan on, I don't plan on being like strict keto for my entire life. I'm doing it now mostly to lose weight, and I'll like slowly incorporate carbs back into my life. Yeah, but I mean, I, I do want to just 
cut my overall consumption of uh, sugars and carbs in general. Like Coke. I mean, you guys have seen my streams. I love Coke. I think I drink Coke. I think I drink at least one Coke, like every one out of every three streams or something. Like I need to cut that out of my life. And one Coke is more than what a keto diet allows. So it hurts. <laughs> I like my Arizona teas, you know? <laughs> yeah, so. Like carbs, despite me being Asian, I, I can cut carbs from my life. But sugar, that's the hard one. And like, I like chocolate. I mean, I could still eat like super dark chocolate, like cacao, like pretty much just pure cacao I could eat. So I'm, I'm content with that. But like, it sucks when you have to eat some like greasy food or just like a dank burger or a pizza and you can't drink Coke with it. That's so, that's like Pepe hands. Like when you, when I eat something greasy, I need something to like balance that out and like wash all that grease away, but I can't anymore. I mean, I, I guess I can drink like carbonated water, like LaCroix. But it's not the same, you know? It's not the same. Wait. Crap, I forgot if this has a... Does this have a mounting under the space bar? Dang it, it does have... Uh, I'm just not gonna mount it there. <laughs> I'll leave it up to the customer to mount it there. Ooh, but at least these screws are magnetic. Thank God these screws are magnetic. Oh yeah, thank God you can drink caffeine on keto. I would kill myself if you couldn't drink coffee on keto. Boba, boba after any meal pog. Yo, I can't have boba either. I'm so sad. Like my coworkers at my office will sometimes order boba. I used to always join in, but now I can't anymore. Oh man, dang it. I didn't realize this was, this tolerance was going to be so tight. Is the customer still in chat? Do you want me to put the screw under the spacebar in or not? I am drinking boba as we speak. They must be nice, Lark Carps. Being able to freely drink boba. Screwed all the way. Uh, Kai has, Kai has Twitch. Thank you so much. Kai has Twitch. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime stuff. So. It's because you chose to drink tea pumps. Yo, if it doesn't ratty in the trade during transit, I can just do it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, why are these screws so tight? Okay, so I have these screws. <laughs> Are these the wrong screws? It doesn't do anything. I have it screwed on. Oh, it is a thin plate. Well, the, I mean the... Oh, you're right. It is a thin... No, the plate doesn't affect it though. The plate doesn't affect the... It's the PCB. I don't think the PCB is thin. Yeah. Hmm. 
like I have all these screws tightened, it won't screw anymore. But it doesn't put. T <laughs> yeah, the PCBs are too. I mean, the screws are too long. I don't know if these are the screws that Mechanisk provides, or if these are aftermarket screws the customer gave me, but. Doesn't do anything, Gigi. <laughs> yeah, like that's in there tight. Doesn't do jack. <laughs> the ref. I mean, the foam won't do anything, right? Hmm. Should I try adding like five washers? But I won't. I feel like it won't be as secure. It's gonna be so annoying to uninstall though. It'll push the PCB up. Oh, you're right. Oh, that's that's big brain actually. Well, hmm. Okay, then I would need a lot of layers. Gosh dang it. I did, I did not, maybe it's an Alps thing, I don't know, I didn't have this issue with my feel. Six hour stream, here we go. Hmm. Then it won't. Would it still sit on the standoffs? Or is that the point? Do we want it? To, do we want the standoffs to not even matter at that point? It sticks out so high. Yeah, it won't sit on the standoffs anymore, right? I'm a man of taste. I don't have O-rings. I do not have O-rings. I mean, I could put the washers, yeah. Dang it, now I gotta cut off all these screws. These are the... I'm a scissor. points we care about.
I'm super drunk right now but it's been fun being in this hobby even though I am a newbie. Everyone has been so friendly. Thank you. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Solid snake drive, what the heck? Uh, I, I, I hope you'd, uh, you drink responsibly. Solid snake drive, thank you so much for the 400 bits though, man. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your night. Yo, what? Eames bird again? Wait, how many? S 10 t 10 sub? 2? 10 subs? Holy moly, Eames bird. Thank you so much for gifting 10 subs. Who is this man? Where is he coming from? Is he trying to compete with Kuroi? Yo, thank you so much. Oh no, I cut off too much here, but it's okay. Okay, let's see. Hmm. One sheet might not be enough, right? We need that oof emote. Oh, I don't have an oof emote. Is there an is there like a Franker face Z oof emote? Should I put a second one on? I think that's the plan, right? To do a second one. Yo, Beast Troll, you're back. Yo, are you doing okay, man? Has it been resolved? I hope you uh, settled everything. We had a... I was talking to Blue Crystal and, and Yoti about you on stream. Oh, you got it resolved. Nice. That's good to hear, man. Man, I, I hope I'm never in your position, but... At least it means you're you're big enough, right? <laughs> if someone wants to hack you that bad, it means you've made it in life, Beast Troll. So I don't know if you find that comforting, but <laughs> big enough to get hacked. Yeah, you, you're big enough to the point someone wants to hack you. That's how you know you made it in life. Someone wants to get into your account. Um, but yeah, we are doing Blue Alps today. These are different from the Brown Alps, but they are the same uh, family and class of switches. Or er, family and manufacturer, sorry, not class. Okay, it's gonna sit in there tight. I don't even know if the second it, but is that three layers? No, this is two layers. We're adding two layers of foam. But it's, oh, I cut the wrong part. No wonder it's not going through. Say use a password manager. Do not reuse. 
Uh, yes. Use a password manager. Use uh, 2FA. Yes, that is. Those are all good advices. Um, as a as a software engineer, I will tell you that the the greatest strength you can add to your password is uh, just pure length. Just just make your password as long. <laughs> Having adding one extra character to your password adds so much complexity for hackers who are trying to crack into it. Um, length is your greatest uh, defense. It is tight. Not if you have 500 qubits. Well, yeah, I mean, if once quantum computing becomes a thing, then yeah, we are going to need a defense, or uh, we're gonna need to have a different approach to how we handle security. But until quantum computing, I mean, quantum computing already is a thing, but it's not quite accessible yet. So yeah. But I mean, there are already uh, like encryption protocols being made to that can handle the quantum level. So I, I don't think, I mean, I, I'm not a super expert on security, but yeah. I mean, there are already work being done to future proof against once quantum computers come around, but yeah, scary stuff, man. Having stuff online nowadays. Yeah, just make your passwords long, guys. It's better to have a long password that's a super simple sentence than having a super random short password. I mean, if you have both, that's ideal, right? That's why whenever you generate passwords, they tend to be just long strings of gibberish. Okay. Yo, Juan and Amelie, that was the big brain play. Now the screws actually do something. Crap, I forgot what goes where for Apple. Apple key is in the middle. Where is it? No, it's in, okay. I lied. I don't use Apple enough. <laughs> Uh, using a quantum bit holding a superposition. <laughs> uh, Two-factor authentication is a token, one time, not SMS. SMS can is vulnerable to SIM jacking. Spooky man. Oh wait, I, did I miss Spooky man? Yo, Spooky man dropped by again. Japanese horror writer. Sorry I missed it. <laughs> I was too busy I was trying to focus on this. Uh, thank you so much for the 1000 bits. Mr. Spooky Man. Do you, is it okay that I call you Spooky Man? Well, you probably won't respond to me because you're the Spooky Man, but I enjoy calling you the Spooky Man. I like your mysterious uh, persona that you have. Uh, where did my, okay. All right, so we have just finished the build and I don't know if you guys were here last time, but we have a bot now to handle all the uh, words per minute guesses you guys do. I'm gonna start keeping track of uh, everyone's guesses and hopefully we can uh, sort it out this time. Or hopefully there's no issues, sorry, and that it works correctly. Do, ooh, look so sleek. I think it's the colors. The feel is a thick, it's a thick board. Okay, let's, let's weigh this bad boy. I'm gonna guess this is going to weigh like, I think the feel weighs over five pounds built, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's five pounds, 4.6 ounces, 
for 2,394 grams for a 60%. Yeah, so Ed, this is this keyboard is two pounds heavier than your board. It's the same form factor. <laughs> this thing, you drop this on your toe, your toe's gone, guys. <laughs> One does not simply move a feel, and like the corners are sharp, your toe's gone. How much did it weigh? It weighed 5 pounds, 4.6 ounces, completely built. Toe is gone, toe is gone. Okay. Oh, I haven't even turned off my solder yet. But look at this, boys and girls. This is the completed build today. Are they tofu sharp? No, I mean, it's sharp, but it's not tofu sharp. Like tofu, you could tell it's sharp, but this one is not that sharp. But yeah, this is a silver feel um, built with SKCM Blue Alps on a 1.2 millimeter stainless steel plate and it is using the Katakana AEK keycaps which are harvested from an AEK keyboard it's a 60% keyboard it's the side profile it's the back profile um, oh so one thing the reason why it's this lifted so AEK keycaps if you don't know they have a pretty curved profile so that's why it, the this row and the F row you'll see it being very lifted off unless you have the curve to ah I have oh, I have one with me so this is not the Katakana version this is just a US version but you guys can see how uh, how the case has the curving so it hides the uh, the keycaps from showing I mean it's a preference thing I would say most people generally don't want to see their like keycaps floating so this is the original board it was harvested or one a, w potential keyboard is harvested from but yeah because this is just a straight line if you alps a cherry board you generally tend to have that uh, gap for modern if you use AK keycaps yeah this is this is one of this is an OG Apple board guys has the OG Apple logo I've been trying to sell this no one wants it I guess <laughs> cream damped yeah okay uh, I need to pee Oh, it feels d -d -d dink. Okay, so we have a bot that let's see if the mods can start it. Do you guys remember the command to start it mods? The other yeah, words per minute bot. Do you guys remember any mods? Any mods avail? <laughs> I have no mods. Well, no mo no mods. Oh, Lark Carps did it. Okay, okay. So it's starting. Okay, so yeah, we have this Teha D Luffy bot. Once a mod or I. Wait, why does it say? S start your guesses. Did I change the message it sends out? Hold on. I thought I changed the message. Uh, Oh, I didn't. Okay, I did not. Okay, so for the bot, you can only you sh you can only type in the number. If you type in anything else, it will ignore the message. So just enter just a guess, guess with nothing else, and then it will keep track of your guess. 
um, it only keeps track of your first one. So once you submit a guess, there's no point in re-entering. It only records the first ever number you input. So yeah, there's no point in spamming. And assuming it works, assuming someone guessed it right, hopefully it adds to a sheet. Okay, so it is currently one Huey away. Okay, my, this is, I can't see. I can't see. Bring up 10 fast fingers. Okay. Turn off the music. Is Tyler in chat? Hello? Tyler, are you in chat? I don't know if I saw you talking. Well, okay, I also, I'll also mods. I hope you remember how to turn it off. Maybe, maybe I should just do that myself since I have fastest access to it, but. You guys ready? You guys ready for this? Uh, you guys ready to hear the goodness? Blue Alps. Oh wait, I destroyed my. Okay. Sorry. Three. Two. Wait, hold on. I need to guess. Oh, okay, this is the key. Okay, okay. Read the read. The, read the read. The. That didn't count. That didn't count. That didn't count. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, read the read the read. The. <laughs> Read the read the read the read the read the <laughs> Oh my gosh, read the read Oh my gosh, read the read the This is so bad. actually had people guess it right okay so the bot has marked who guessed it right uh, let's see if it actually shows up so I have my uh, Hall of Fame the twitch Hall of Fame on my panel linked can you guys check if that thing was updated with the winners yeah but did the spreadsheet work that's the thing right so let me share my browser uh, where's my Hall of Fame? Crap, I can't find it in this. Where's Premier Hall of Fame? Did it work? Yo, it worked! Yo, my man Mark, thank you so much for the two months. The winners were Nishi, Renrai, Boop, Beep, Bop, Code Monkey X, Kevla, Zymus, Purple 24. Yeah, Nishri. Oh, yo, Tyler, it worked! We have these guys as the winners. So, one thing I, I don't know if I should code this. I want to alphabetize this. <laughs> I'm thinking I might just manually do it. I don't expect there to be a lot of winners every stream, so that's something I can do manually, but it works. Yo. And for those of you guys who don't know, Tyler.dev is the one who helped me with this bot. This is a pretty cool bot, guys. So these are, you guys can always check. I have it linked in my Twitch panel the worst permanent guest hall of fame um but yeah it works you could do the sorting on the stream oh i mean if you're willing to take that up i'd be more than happy <laughs> but i mean it's not 
it's not the end of the world if I have to do it manually. Yeah. Yo, this is. Can we put all of my old wins in there? No, I think we're gonna. We're, this is a fresh start. This is a fresh start. Yeah. So some of you guys do recognize Tyler from a uh, Albert stream. He he's the one that helps Albert with uh, some of his uh, insane stream stuff. Yeah, I asked Tyler to help me out, and then yeah, he graciously agreed to help a small pleb streamer like me. But uh, let's let's see it once more in action. Yo, this this bot is legit. This is pretty hype. Pretty hype. No other keyboard streamer. I mean, not that there are many. I'm sure has a, a bot like this. Okay, so I will start this in my set. Do we get anything in like a thousand guesses, a hundred guesses? Uh, I have yet to decide that. So let's do another run. Oh, I should go through the mods. Oh, you're live right now. Oh, shoot. Oh, maybe I can give you a raid. So I think the wire on the return is bent. It has trouble returning sometimes. Sound sounds pretty pretty thick. All right, here we go. No no redos on. Oh shoot, no redos on this. You guys ready? Place your bets. Who's gonna buy the lottery ticket tonight? Three, two, one. Oh wait, read the read the. You guys can't see me typing. Hold on, you guys can't see me typing. Three, two, one. Got the same one, I think. <laughs> Yo, what? What? <laughs> Yo, Beast Troll is the sole winner. <laughs> Yo, Beast Troll is the sole winner. Does it show up on the spreadsheet? <laughs> Beast Troll is the sole winner. What? What are the odds? Yo, Beast Troll is in the Hall of Fame. Oh wait, Beast Troll is also the first. Yeah, Beast Troll. The f oh wait, I'm not. I'm on the wrong account. Beast Troll is the first person on this list by alphabetical superiorness. Yeah, Tyler, it works today. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Now I gotta manually shift these people down. Beast Troll is first in my word for minute Hall of Fame. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Yo, this bot is legit though. Yeah, I'll let you know if something goes wrong, Tyler. Um, but so far, so good. Nothing I can see in the log messages as well indicating errors. So, yeah, I, th I think our bot is finally. It's finally ready to be in yes yeah, this is this is you are a god Tyler yeah 
How's that for a build, guys? Those caps ugly F? What? I think these caps look beautiful, honestly. Um, I mean, it definitely has the... I mean, it is vintage, so I can understand if you're not into vintage stuff, but yeah. Uh, what mic do you use? I use the, the Neumann TLM 103. I have it linked on my Amazon storefront if you want. Yeah. Uh, let me start the music back up again. Okay, so that's it for uh, today's build stream. Any last questions, comments, concerns? I will be streaming tomorrow and Sunday as well. So usual times I have the uh, thing down below. Is this a commission or personal build? This is a pers- oh, not- this is a commission. This is a commission. You have a nicer mic than my sound company for live production. Was it rigged? It was not rigged. Uh, do you still recommend switchmod.net for lube? Yes, I still do. Wish it was a personal build. I wish too, man. I wish too, but I've so I've actually sold off a lot of personal builds. I'm trying to get a new cam, an overhead cam for my streams. So, cosmonies, man, cosmonies. What's tomorrow's build? Do you want me to spill the beans right now, or do you guys want to be pleasantly surprised? Are you getting it on Mizu? No. Yo, what keyboards you got left? I want m more. What do you mean? Do I have left? To build tonight? No beans spilled. Yeah, tomorrow's build gonna be pretty interesting. Oh, to sell. I only have vintage stuff to sell Bistro. I don't have modern st stuff. <laughs> yeah. But if you're if you're ever interested in the feature, I will let you know first if you want some of my <laughs> personal boards that I decide to sell. I know, yeah, I know, I realized I leaked my email, but that's okay. I will, the power of editing, guys, the power of editing. Did you sell all of your ducks? I did. I don't own any more duck keyboards. Yeah, but Blue Alps are dead. Oh, what is that music? Oh, please. Do I have a Singa? I have never owned a Singa in my life. All the Singas I've built on stream were customer builds. I wish I owned a Singa. I don't own a Singa. Who wants some stickers? Should I just slap it? Should I, should I slap it on like every build? No, uh, I, that's too that's too intrusive on customer boards. I feel like I'll just leave it in the package and they can choose what they want to do with it. Put more stickers on your bottle. What kind of genre is this kind of song? Um, probably like elevator music, smooth jazz. It's not really quality jazz, but it's the best I can do with uh, li avoiding licenses and all. Yo, Zerpocalypse! Thank you so much for the host. Uh, you hosted me at a bad time. I'm about to end the stream. I'm actually about to uh, raid someone else. Yeah. Licking a board wasn't intrusive. Well, okay, Juan and Amelie, to be fair, I asked the customer beforehand and I only did it if they gave me permission. I guess I can ask them beforehand too if I can just slap it on, but yeah. <laughs> Any Anything like that I have done in the past, I always ask for permission first. Uh, Alec F2, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub, the three month streak. Oof, you're now a uh, Cherry MX Red switch. 
Where did you get all the stickers on your hydro? My uh, my girlfriend got most of these actually. The Fontaine is from a from a one of my favorite card deck makers. Came with that Fontaine cards, really nice. I would highly recommend. This came from girlfriend. This is, came from me. This came from girlfriend. This came from when I used to be a trash streetwear hype beast. Same here. This came from Solid Snake Drive's build when I built his Aegis. This came from Girlfriend. This? I think this came from R. Mendes. I traded with R. Mendes once and I think he sent me this. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Beastroll, I've seen you flexing it on your stream. I can't believe. I don't. <laughs> yeah, I've seen, I've seen that brick of yours. <laughs> All that slurping was intrusive to my ear holes. <laughs> I am a changed man, Juan and Amelia. I don't slurp and lick anymore. Do I do cardistry? I used to. I don't have time to practice. I haven't practiced in years. But I used to do it for like a good... Maybe like five years. I was really into it. Um, like cardistry and magic. Um, but yeah, I stopped. I just don't have time for it anymore. But I still collect decks of cards. I also have this deck that I recently got. Thank you. I forgot what. Let's you know. Let's open this on stream. Let's make this a, a card opening deck. Okay, this packaging is weak. So, what what deck did I purchase? Oh, I don't remember purchasing this. Bicycle hybrids. This might have just been a, a, a Kickstarter deck that I backed. Um, you gotta preserve the sticker here. Oh, this sticker is a tough one. No, I just cut my nails yesterday. This is a $60 deck? What? Is it going for that much in the aftermarket? Do I have the Alice? No, I don't have my Alice anymore, unfortunately. From your list of favorite switches, if you had to choose the absolute favorite out of all those, which would it be? That's a hard question, man. I don't know. That's why I have listed all of them as my favorites. Yo, whoa, whoa. I did, I did not realize I joined in for such a... <laughs> uh, Kickstarter, okay, this deck does not fan well, but, yo, it's shiny, it's holographic, let's take a look at the graphics, oh, yo, okay, I probably joined in for the graphics, the graphics are pretty legit for a deck of cards, it's kind of got like a, like futuristic, theme to it. Oh, it's a pretty deck. But uh, I, I can already tell, yeah, these these cars are not good for uh, any kind of flourishing. Let's see if I can uh, pharaoh this. Oh, I can pharaoh. Okay, that's, that's not a perfect one, but pretty damn close. I missed one there. Almost a perfect pharaoh. If I can cut the deck in half. Are these playing cards? Yes, these are playing cards. RGB cards? Yes, that's what these are, RGB cards. Oh, there we go. There's my perfect pharaoh. Oh, just kidding, I missed one on the edge. But look at that. Perfect Pharaoh. Almost perfect Pharaoh, sorry. It's off by one, but. And then you do a double fan. Yo. Oh no. No. And then on a hot day, just. Oh, it's so hot. 
There is your uh, DIY fan, my friends. Do a bloom? I don't think I can do a bloom. I haven't. I don't really. I don't really practice blooms, and I haven't actually uh, played around with cards like this in a while. Yeah, this this deck is not the best for visuals. <laughs> I think I got this just because I like the graphics. That's about. That's pretty much it. Handling wise, it feels whatever. Yeah. Can I still do like cuts I used to know? Oh no, I can't. It's been a while. Can you make me a Richardo's keyboard? This this my desk is also too high. Like like it's on ergonomic for me to do tricks with. Show us your best deck. I don't have it. I don't have my best deck with me. But what I have currently is probably the Fontaine cards. I think I like the pink one better than the carrot. This is pretty, pretty out there, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, later, guys. Catch you on your next stream. Thank you for stopping by. J E Z. -Z oh shoot, my monitor. What else can I do? I can fan the car and then. Okay, that is terrible. Uh, Zora, the only. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Was it Albi? Seriously though, Albi and I actually share a lot of interests in hobbies. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a, a like this ver, this two, the hologram does not make play well. Yeah, Albi and I have talked a lot about it. We have a lot of similar interests, but he's, he is, a, he's significantly better than me at all of them. <laughs> Albi just, yeah, he's gone deeper into most of them. Uh, I I too used to spin battle songs. I don't want to show it off on stream because it's illegal, illegally dead. Yeah. Well, that is it for today's magic show. Maybe I'd maybe I should practice magic more, and then I can be a budget Albie. <laughs> Teach you what? Don't forget me when you're famous. Beast Troll, please! <laughs> you're the famous one. <laughs> Beast Troll, I think it's safe to say you're like a top. You're probably within the top 1% of streamers in terms of like how many concurrent viewers you pull. I'm pretty sure you're in the top 1%, right? Beast Troll is an amazing streamer, guys. Bally songs aren't allowed on Twitch. Well, Bally songs are illegal. I don't know if it's in, this, in the, the USA, but at least in California, it's illegal, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Time to flex. This, this guy. <laughs> this guy. Yeah, in California, they are illegal, so... I don't have a belly song. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Illegal to carry, not to... Is it legal to own? Can you really own? Are you guys sure? I feel like it's just illegal to own in general, no? I don't have training ones, Larkarps, that's the thing. <laughs> there are training ones, yes. I don't have any training ones. Not that I have sharp ones, but I don't have training ones. <laughs> Please rise, sir. Okay, let's see if there's anyone we can raid. Oh, we can raid Tyler.dev, guys. Tyler.dev is streaming. 
we're gonna give Mr. Tyler Dev a uh, a raid. So once again, tomorrow I'll be streaming at 3:30 p.m. Pacific time. I have a pretty nice and interesting board tomorrow. It's an expensive board tomorrow, so if that means anything to you guys. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys can tune in tomorrow. Um, so let's go cause some havoc on Tyler's stream. You guys know the raid emote. So until tomorrow, see you nerds.